Hello friends, welcome back to Planet Vegetarian. I hope everybody is staying safe. So today I'm going to share hummus recipe with tahini sauce. So firstly, here I've taken a pan and I would be adding one fourth cup of sesame seeds and I would dry roast them. So we have to dry roast this for almost 3 to 5 minutes. You would see the change in color and also it would be aromatic. So once that happens, you can assume that this has been dry roasted and sesame seeds are ready for tahini sauce. So now as you see it has changed to light brown. I would let it cool down before I grind it. So now here it is cooled off completely. I've taken in a small mixture, mixer, added salt. Little bit of oil. Around one and a half teaspoons. And you can use olive oil. And now I would mix it well to make a powder. This is how it looks. So um, to make it into a tahini sauce consistency or a little watery consistency, I will add a little bit of water and oil. So I'll mix it well to see if it is the right consistency that I need or not and um, if you feel that it should be a little more watery go ahead and add water. So you can skip this part if you want to make the hummus without tahini sauce. Instead of the tahini you, could, you, you can use yogurt or curd but um, this is how it is uh, made and just to make it similar to the store bought I'm making it like so so this is the consistency i wanted for the tahini sauce now what i'll do is i'll start making the hummus so in another jar um, i'm adding the tahini sauce you can also reduce the amount of sesame seeds if you want less flavor of sesame it is very strong flavored so totally depends upon how you like it so now here i'm adding one tablespoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of roasted cumin powder and here is approximately two cups of boiled um, chickpeas. So I soaked the raw chickpeas overnight and I pressure cooked them and that's how they look. You can also bring in canned chickpeas if you want, it would bring in the same results. So now to this I would add in some more oil. If you want you can skip oil and add water instead but this is how I like mine. So after mixing it well um, you can see that it's come up with a smooth consistency. If you want you can add some more water. Um, and make it a little more liquidy totally depends upon how you like it i'm adding in a little bit of salt here he added water Going it, giving it the last mix. If you feel that it has stuck, you will have to open the mixer, uh, move it a little bit with a spatula and then churn it properly so that everything mixes well and it's the correct consistency. Not too liquidy, not too solid. So 
okay so this is ready I will take it out in a bowl and then we would add the seasonings and garnish it before we serve okay I've added a little bit of olive oil just drizzled it over um, paprika or red chili this is optional if you don't like it you can just add in the chili flakes if you don't like chili flakes some people add parsley but I don't like that so I've added chili flakes because the store-bought does have some uh, paprika and chili, chili flakes on the top so just drizzle it over And it is ready so you can serve it with veggies pita bread um, tortilla chips whatever is your preference I hope you like this recipe uh, homemade is definitely better than store-bought thank you all for watching